Hey guys, it's Curtis from Curtis Click Training, and uh, this is episode number three of the vlog. And uh, I was gonna go over and talk about maintaining your muscles, which it says right here. Uh, but I'm going to actually talk about something else, and I think that that is a much more crucial topic. It was kind of on my heart a little bit, I guess you could say, but it's a it's about mentality and how mentality is an important thing when it comes to um, training, life whatever it is because as I get into the video I'm just gonna be talking about how important mentality is when it comes to your training I'll probably give other analogies that relate to that in life uh, and then we'll kind of go from there so let's kind of get into it so mentality I've got the two definitions written here uh, but the first one that I thought was really crucial and important is the the capacity for intelligent thought and I was like, huh, it's interesting. So then later on in the definition in the dictionary, it said in 17th century, it meant in the sense a mental process or mental process. So then I looked up what mental was relating to the mind. That's pretty obvious, right? Like mental, it's in your mind. Okay. Process, a series or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. And I put or goal. So let's kind of get into that. So mentality, as a trainer, strength coach, PT, whatever it is, a surgeon, rehab specialist, anything you want to think of, if the person you're working with, if their mentality is not to, I'm going to dominate this, or I'm going to put in my best effort, I'm going to do the best that I can, it's going to be really hard to get the end result that they want, right? And I guess if you look within yourself, if you step into a gym per se, because we're in a gym, and you have the kind of, uh, I'm just gonna kind of be mediocre today and kind of just kind of go through the motions, and but I got my workout in. I got my 40 minutes, my hour workout in, I got my cardio in, but man, I'm just not seeing the results that I wanna see. Well, if your mentality is not in a good place, it's gonna be hard for you to achieve your goal or particular end of the process. Because when you go to the gym, or training or anything in life, whether it's your career, everything is a process. And if your mental thought process is not in a good place, it's gonna be hard for you to reach your goals. So, so an example for me is I, I, I can write a program for anybody, right? Based off the assessment, you know, look at it, build a hypothesis, build it out. I can write the most perfect program, right? Let's just say hypothetically. The most perfect program, which I don't think there's a perfect program. I think there's client defined programs and all that kind of stuff. But if I write the perfect program hypothetically and the person comes in and doesn't work hard and I try to push them and they don't work hard because their mentality is kind of like, well, I'm just doing this because I'm supposed to for my sport. I'm doing this to look good or whatever it may be. If your mentality is not in a good spot and they're not working hard, that program means nothing. The program, the reps, anything, it means nothing. Because if you don't step into each set or each day with the mentality that I'm gonna crush this set, I'm gonna hit 10 reps or whatever it is with the best form because I'm trying to move these, these use these muscles to move my bones and get this result that I want. If I step into my, if I step into my place of business here with the mentality of, you know what, I work from, like today I start at eight, I get done at eight. It's a 12 hour day, it's a little nuts today because uh, I fly out but it's a it's a long day I just got to get through the day so I can just fly out tomorrow if my mentality is that way I'm not gonna have very good sessions with my people that come in today right if your mentality is not in a good place and you're not in a good mental space to conquer the day or the exercise or your program um, it's not gonna go very well and you may be frustrated with your results and blame it on someone else but you've got to look within yourself because when it comes to your muscular system and maintaining your muscles, there's some things that you probably have to do that are really annoying. Let me give an example. How many of you actually floss your teeth every day? Every day, or even every other day. It's kind of tough. If you're not actually doing the things to take care of your, your mouth, how can you actually progress and get better and maintain your system within your mouth, right? Your dentist would be like, hey, you're not flossing. You're like, oh, you know, I gotta get on that. You know, it's boring, but it's a way to maintain your body, right? When it comes to driving your car, 
you need to get oil changes, which are boring. They take time out of your, your normal work schedule, your normal daily routine. You gotta bring the car and you gotta wait there. They do the change, they rotate the tires. But it's a mentality of, I've gotta get this done to make sure my car is running optimally. The same thing comes to your body, right? Maintaining your muscles because they're an organ. You need to maintain your muscles just like you maintain your heart, you maintain your kidneys, anything, anything, your bones, whatever it is. If your mentality is that it's just kind of a passive mentality, it's gonna be really hard for you to achieve your goals physically. You know, if you're passively following a diet or if you're passively not getting enough sleep or if you're passively doing these things and your mentality is not, you know, I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm gonna have the best effort today. It's not really gonna matter. So this was kind of firing me up because you, if you don't have the mentality that you're gonna dominate today, you're not gonna get the results that you wanna get, right? There's a guy who's watching this video on Instagram and he was talking about this documentary he watched with um, um, a fighter, right? Uh, I'm totally blanking on his name, but um, Conor McGregor, and how he works tirelessly to achieve his goals. And people that become excellent at what they do, they work tirelessly. Their mentality is, I'm gonna dominate today. And if I'm not 100%, I'm gonna give whatever I got to work hard that day. If your mentality is I'm gonna do the best that I can, I'm gonna have the best effort possible, you're gonna get good results. Um, and so I think when it comes down to it, this was kinda of like on my heart, but you have to have a mentality that you're gonna dominate or do well. And if your mentality is there, your effort's gonna be high. If your effort is high, which is the only thing that you can control, results may potentially uh, go faster. You may have better results as time goes on. So um, I really just wanted to get into mentality, how important that is, and, 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 and mentality is also one of the most important things in life. If you have an awful mentality, a down on yourself mentality, or anything, you're not, it's gonna be hard for you to succeed in life, however you define success. Um, so I just wanna encourage you guys, whether it's working out, whether it's life or anything, um, have a mentality that you're gonna dominate the day, you're gonna dominate things. Um, when it comes to doing monotonous things with exercise or anything like that, you're like, I don't really want to go do that. Realize you're doing this to take care of your body, and that's an important thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mentality video, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one, which I'll get into more detail about maintaining your muscles, which will, it'll be a little bit more sciencey, and we'll kind of get into that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Curtis Clay, signing out.